A shooting on board a busy DART light rail train is again raising questions about the agency's plan for improving security. The victim was shot twice during the morning commute as the train approached the Pearl Street station. Witnesses say it may have started with a dispute over sagging pants. Fox Force James Rose is at the Pearl Street station with more. James. Clarice, Dart says the shooting suspect was caught quickly, but this incident highlights the challenges that DART faces in securing the public's confidence in riding the DART light rail. It's a terrible situation, but glad no one else was, was hurt. DART police say 19-year-old Travante Martin shot a man on the DART light rail Friday morning as the train rolled into the Pearl Street station downtown. DART says the two men had a dispute. Witnesses say Martin's pants were sagging and the victim told him to pull them up. Fifty other commuters were on board when the shooting started. The suspect pulled out a gun, shot him twice, ran off the train, threw away the gun. Martin was arrested a short time later. DART police found the handgun after an extensive search around the platform. Of course, there were cameras at the station, and that information has helped us locate the, uh, the suspect and move quickly. Cameras on the platforms and in the light rail cars are a big part of DART's security plan after several violent incidents have raised concerns about rider safety. About 45 train cars have cameras on board. This one Friday morning did not. DART plans to have another 115 cameras installed within the next two years. It's safe, but at the end of the day, something has to be instilled to where they are and feel safer. Public Safety Committee member Councilman Dwayne Carraway credits DART with catching the suspect quickly, but says... We're going to have to kind of make sure that DART steps up security. Uh, make sure folks know that you don't get on that train carrying weapons and that people have to realize that riding the DART train, you can ride it and feel safe and not feel threatened. Now, Darts, Darts says there were no officers on the light rail train this morning, but it does plan to hire additional security officers by April 1st, and the goal is to have at least one officer on every light rail in operation. Now, as for the man who was shot, he was shot two times. He remains in the intensive care unit at Baylor Hospital, and we're told he is expected to survive.